Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Tuesday, and it's Subs Week, and I'm Angelo, your sub host. Today we are talking about how do we tell people about our path who are new, like when we're dating or telling a child or, you know, new situations. So uh, basically I'm taking this to be, you know, how do you come out of the closet, the, you know, uh, pagan closet, you know, uh, when uh, you're introduced to someone new, you're dating someone, like how do you, how do you break the ice? Like, hey, by the way, you know, I'm pagan. So this is fun. So I, I blogged about this topic on my uh, Pathios blog, um, Polytheism in the Office. I'm somebody, uh, when it comes to out in the real world, you know, uh, uh, work, um, interpersonal relationships just with people and on the open, I am, for the most part, very, uh, like, full disclosure, very direct with my um, my, uh, my path, my, you know, my Hellenism, uh, and, um, it, it's funny how it comes up, you know, I'll bring it up, uh, whenever religion is brought up, I won't just bring it up, uh, for the sake of bringing it up, it has, something has to be in the air, so to speak, for me to kind of put it out there, and, um, I, usually what I like to say, usually one of the, the fun ways, uh, that I can segue into, uh, being a polytheist is, you know, when we're talking and someone says, oh my god, and, I, and then I turn and I always say, I go, which god? You know, jokingly, and, they, and usually, you know, they're like, what do you mean there's only one god? And I say, what do you mean there's only one god? I go, I I'm Greek, I have many gods, you know, so I just put it out there like that. I go, I'm a polytheistic Greek, I follow the the ancient tradition, I go, you know, there's a Hindu over there, especially at work, you know, if there's a, if there's a, you know, a Hindu in that department, like, you know, you have a Hindu working for you, I go, they have many gods, because so, why are you so sure that there's one, you know, I, I, I'm like that, I, I have no problem doing that to people, because I like to push uh, in that way, to break people's, um, break the monotheistic privilege, uh, I, I like to call it. There's a monotheistic privilege that everyone believes in one God, you know, and that, oh, well, the Hindus, you know, they have many gods, but it's all the same God, you know, they have this, like, they want to, uh, you know, like, just, like, ignore it. It's that, it's that privilege of this is the dominant, correct position. It is true, and everyone believes in it, and I have no problem um, saying, nope, not this one, not this Greek. Another way uh, that this comes up, um, if I run into other Greeks, I, that this has happened, um, you know, th because all Greeks, you know, will assume that I'm Orthodox. So when Easter comes around, they'll say, you know, uh, after Easter or around Easter, they'll say, Christos Anesti, Christ is risen. And you're supposed to say in response, Alithos Anesti, truly he has risen. And so when they say to me, and this happened, I was at work, and the lunch lady uh, uh, said to me, Christos Anesti, and I, I ignored it, and I, you know, and I said, can I have a bacon, egg, and cheese on a, on a bagel? <laughs> you know, I was just tired. I, I, had, I was not in the mood, you know, to, I, I didn't tell her, you know, what I was, but then she, she noticed I didn't respond. And Greek people, when they, when they see you don't respond with Alithos, something triggers in them, like, what is going on here? And so then when she made my sandwich and gave it to me, she was like, oh, so what did you do for Easter? Like, she was pushing, she wants, you know, and I said, oh, nothing, you know, I, I don't celebrate. You know, she was like, oh, why? And I'm just like, I, you know, I, I just, I didn't want to get into it. And she was like, she was like upset. They get very upset when they, when they hear Greek isn't, isn't Orthodox. Um, there was another, wor uh, another uh, Greek lady at work, you know, she was uh, uh, wishing me a happy name day. It's the it's the saint's day um, that the Orthodox celebrate. So the the, the day that the saint was martyred for, uh, is the, and if you had that name of that saint or whoever, you know, you have a name day that that's a feast day. It's a saint's feast day. And so um, I had uh, mine in March or mine was in March when uh, when I used to celebrate it. And she was wishing me a happy name day, and I said, oh, thank you, but I thank you for the, the kind wish, but I, I don't celebrate uh, my name day, I'm not Orthodox. And I gave her the whole big, you know, uh, spiel and everything, and this was also around Easter time, so by the end of the conversation where I, where I explained to her what I do, she says, oh, okay, well, ha ha happy Easter, and she, like, walks away, so it's like, ah, come on, <laughs> you're not listening, you know, you're not taking me seriously, or, it, or it's just habit, it's just, it's just funny. 
uh, on dates so like I, I have mentioned it on dates and that usually comes up again because being Greek it the religion's gonna come up because you know they you know they 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 know that I'm Greek on the date and they'll say so oh you're Orthodox it always goes that way so that's that's always okay so that's always the segue into breaking the ice is because people will uh, initiate the conversation on religion and assume I'm Orthodox you know or something they'll, they'll, they'll bring it up they'll bring orthodoxy up into the conversation and then I have to clarify and say oh well actually no I don't uh, practice orthodoxy I practice the ancient Greek tradition and I have to explain what that means you know uh, polytheism following the philosophy we have a temple here in New York that I attend we have a community that I'm, that I'm involved with my blog I, you know, I, I'm I'm very involved in the uh, in in these activities. I have, as you can see, <laughs> you know, I, I I will show them photos of my statues and my 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 shrines. I go, oh, you don't believe me? Here's my phone. Look, I go, this is, this is what I got at my you know my at my place. Like yeah, this is what I do, you know. And so uh, they're usually in, intrigued, interested. Some people. Or just like, meh, that's, you know, uh, no one's ever rude. No one, no one, no one's ever rude with this. Children, I don't talk to children about it. Um, uh, the only children that I would have the opportunity would be like a cousins, my cousins, their kids. Um, which my one cousin keeps, uh, tells her kids don't listen to Uncle Angelo when he talks. Because, you know, they, they, <laughs> they, they, they know I'm going to corrupt them. But, yeah, so, no, I... I I always, I'll just remind uh, other Greek people that they're, you know, Greeks were still Greek before Christianity, that they had a religion, they had a practice, and they had an entire, uh, entire, uh, it had so, they had everything before Christianity, so I, I, I'll, I'll mention it that way, you know, also, but um, I might not say that I practice it to some people, but I will allude to it, you know, um, you know, I'll say that my my tr my religion is the religion of Plato, for example. I'll say something like that, or you know, um, but yeah. So I yeah I break it to them that way because you know uh, they they'll bring it up somehow or um, somehow uh, the kind of conversation they might talk about like someone might say something about mythology. They'll say some somehow. Um, the conversation comes up and someone will say, oh yeah, the ancient da-da-da, and they'll say something wrong, or they'll say something derogatory, and I'll say, you know, I really don't appreciate that sort of uh, language, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Greek who practices the uh, ancient religion, you know, and I, I don't appreciate that, and, you know, so yeah, I, have, I have no problem um, being that guy, because <laughs> um, they can't push back. Uh, so uh, yeah, so that's kind of uh, that's that's my story. That's uh, that's my deal. So um, if you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave it down below. Thank you for watching and take care.